YouTube, we're back with more of the Packmaster. If you don't remember or it's your first time seeing the Packmaster and you have no idea what's going on, essentially, there's like 70 plus different packs of cards to choose from. At the beginning of your run, you're going to choose seven different packs. Now, some of them are going to be chosen randomly, and then some of them you're going to get to choose yourself. That is going to be 70 cards that you're then going to be able to choose from throughout your run. So a pack is 10 cards of a specific archetype. You're going to throw it all into your runs, and you're going to make absolute fucking magic. The entire mod has over 700 cards. 30 plus modders worked on it. It's one of the most extensive mods that has ever been made and it's still currently being live patched and new packs are being added and new contents being added and things are getting adjusted and I'm making things get nerfed in real time as I'm playing them on my stream and I hope you enjoy it. If it ever seems confusing, I hope that I, uh, I, I I can do better in the future. Just let me know if I go through things too fast or I, I gloss over things too fast and I'm not going slow enough for you. I would actually, with these kind of videos and these kind of mods, really hope that you enjoy yourself and maybe go and try it. The amount of people that have said that they've won and tried it because of me, uh, it warms my heart because all I want to do is spread love to the modding community of Slay the Spire and spread love throughout the community and help it grow. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe and all that shit. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. All right, we have to enable the content creator pack. We are enabling the content creator pack. We'll do random, random choice of three. We'll do content creator. We got core set, content creator, random, random, choice of three, choice of three, choice of three. Pick a hat. Oh, true. Next person to get five subs gets to choose. There's a random option. Go with that. All right, random hat. We will be the magic eight ball. Let's fucking go. Let's see what packs we have now. We have for the content pack. This is a pack that is probably going to make me cry. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to get emotional about this. Probably not actually cry. Realistically, I'm not someone that cries because uh, I, I, of trauma. But we don't need to talk about that. Distortion. Everything is as it should be. Doesn't feel like that actually is. We also have orbs where we can channel and utilize orbs in this pack. Energy and echo. Generate energy and do your best at spending it through self-multiplying cards. I like that alignment is moving. Power is ethereal. Receive it and when it's meant to come. <clears throat> receive it when it's meant to come and let it go if you don't need it. Blues bruise. Blue, like from Blue's Clues. A collection of useful exhaust card themed around potions. Contains several multi-choice cards. Multi-choice cards does sound fun. But it's, it, yeah, multi-choice cards does sound fun. But I'm leaning towards, I don't know. Blue's Bruise is probably too hard for you. Sarcastic. All right, that's it, chat. Before we get into the content today, I've wound up my DK punch. Don't make me use it. Chat wants the one that talks about cum. All right, we'll take that one. Energize. Focus your power on gaining tons of energy and spend it on costly cards. Bug uh, the swarm. Bug out with the new infest keyword, which in makes which makes cards burrow into your draw pile. These two are made by Vex, so we can we can think about those. I'm so sorry to uh, Silver, but I'm, I'm 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 a Vex simp. You understand? Uh, which strike directly activate your orbs abilities? Care not for your maximum orb slots with the manifest ability to create more as you channel. Wait, hold on. Wait, actually, uh, maybe fuck Vex because orb synergy. Yeah, orb me, orb me, orb me. And the final pack, the anomaly. We have this hat unlocked already. So we've played with this one is what it is, right? So we won't, we won't do that one. Do the impossible through powers beyond reason, psychic. And then farmer, rotate between card types to optimize your power. It's hard to make psychic work. It's great if you get going. Yeah, it's like do the impossible. It's like alpha, beta, omega kind of stuff, right? Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be shit that's like super duper difficult. Farmer is so fun. Okay, chat really seems to want farmers. One's in chat for farm, two's in chat for psychic. Okay, that's like legitimately, I think I think it's like a, I think that's like almost tied, but I think it's barely farmers gave it out. It's barely farmers. That's barely farmer. It's barely a farmer. Okay, here we go. These are our packs. Love it or hate it. This is what we're going with. Love it or hate it. At the same starting deck, we've got our eight ball head. We could choose a rare colorless. I'm down with that. Absolutely, I'm down with that. I do love the, the starting relic that this guy comes with. What do the hats do? It's a hat. Um, I think I'm going to take uh, a secret technique. I think there are going to be some powerful skills that we could potentially get. Yes, I think it'll be. I think it'll get some powerful skills. Oh, look at this path. Look at that path, man. You see that path? Yeah, 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 yeah.
<clears throat> I am slowly, if you can't tell. Um, skill. Boom. I'm slowly... Uh, we're going to slowly climb Ascension on this character, too. This is this is how I know that I love this character, because I have a desire to to, to climb Ascension on them. Yo, just a flat-out consume. I do have three orb slots. We do have a Quinn... Con... <laughs> Ethereal. When this card is drawn, all enemies lose five strength this turn. And I can play it to have it not exhaust. Uh, versus Moonlight Barrage. Inscribed. Inscribed mean when you play this card, activate the passive effect of all of your orbs. Ooh. Deal seven damage to a random energy for each channeled orb. That's cool. That's cool, but we don't have any orbs. So let's take this. Let's take let's take a let's take a let's take one of these. Because we have no orbs yet. We need to get orb cards. Check this out, dude. Are you checking me out right now, chat? Quincy Unix. Capitalize, man. Use some capitals. We use some goddamn capitals, maybe? Watch your profanity, or you're gonna have to drink the thick water. Shut the fuck up. Darken! Sorry, I always go to the middle card. I drew Quincunx on turn 4 of the heart fight last night, was immediately hit for like 14 by 12 on turn Oh, five. dude, that's so fucking scary. Oh my god, that's so scary. Mind Maze. Gain 11 block X times. Put X dazed on top of your draw pile? Huh. Darken. Apply 7 distortion. If you're, the enemy has another debuff, apply 4 more. Creatures with distortion lose HP whenever a card is exhausted. What? Wait, that's so OP. Wait, that sounds so gross. It, like, lose... This exhausts, right? That exhausts. Yeah, and then this exhausts. Well, let's look at the last card. Ethereal, when this card is drawn, gain nine block. I like this one, too. I'm going to take a Darken, though. Darken my world, please? What's the upgrade of it? I didn't even look. That's so sick. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's transform a defend into a heal tornado. <laughs> Gain seven block. Manifest. Gain an orb slot and then channel the listed orb, which is a crested moon. What? It's an orb, which passive deals four, deals damage to a random enemy when activated by cards effects. Evoke after activating four times. Evoke deal damage to a, deal damage to a random enemy. It doesn't say how many, how much damage. I'm curious to find out. But it's a heal tornado. So we got to defend plus. We got to defend plus that also does other things. Let's figure out what it does. Heal tornado. So when activated, it will deal five damage. And then it'll evoke and deal five damage to an enemy after four times. Okay. Learning cool things right now. Yeah, it does nothing until it's activated. Watch this. We applied, this guy had minus five strength because of the Quinn. And then because of Quinn had minus five strength. So then it, it, it added seven plus four. And then we play it so it doesn't exhaust. We can build up even more. Fuck. <laughs> He'll lose, this guy will lose 11 HP if we let, if we let this exhaust. So then we do that, and then we let it exhaust. Boom! 11 damage. Sick. Gain a fertilizer! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm so excited about it. Exhaust card! An exhaust card! Wait! Till the earth, it gives us an exhaust card. Dude. Deal 8 damage. Activate the passive uh, effect of your next orb. That's cool. Say that. Say that name at all. Hornet within. Infest. At the end of your turn, if this is in your hand... Shuffle it into your draw pile and put it an, an infestation counter on it. I don't know what the fuck that means. Gain three block. When this infests, evoke your next orb three times and lose an orb slot. Yo, what the hell? Wait, it costs zero. And we can evoke your orb like a hundred times. This seems like so much damage, but then also earth. This is a mouth. This is a mouth moment right here.
don't play it and it evokes? Wait, what? Any return if this is in your hand. Oh, you don't want to play it. I understand it now. I understand. So if I don't play it right now, it's going to deal a billion damage to this guy. Right? Did you take a billion? <laughs> Specifically jumped on hoping you were playing this mod. How much damage did the guy take? What does this mean? What does what does the infest counter mean? Does it mean nothing right now and I and I need to wait for more other things to happen for it to mean something? It only evoked On once. Topic of fertilizer. Have you eaten it before? Millennial it did only evoke once. Millennials used to catch me in the White House shit rummaging, in the bags munching away. I don't know what the hell this guy's saying, man. Maybe it's evoking the next three, next orb three times. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that I have the ability to gain orb slots and lose orb slots. It's basically dual cast. Yeah, but it seems like it's not dual casting. It, evo it evokes your next three orbs, basically. Yeah, maybe it does just evoke if we have multiple orbs. We'll have to see. We'll have to see as we go. Manifest one random orb. It says, gain an orb slot, then channel the listed orb. So we just we gain an orb. If manifest just means gain an orb slot at the same time. All right? If you see manifest, it just means gain an orb slot at the same time. Right? Remember. At the end of your turn, shuffle up to two cards from your hand into your draw pile. Dude, this is cool. I feel like I feel like this would work with ethereal cards, right? Because it's from the same deck, right? Channel a Wanderbot. Inscribed. When you play this card, activate the passive ability of all of your orbs. Oh, Wanderbot deals damage to the frontmost enemy. Oh, this is from the other the the the, the other pack the other car, the other guy that we've played from the 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 the. The delivery robot, right? This is from For the Content. Wanderbot is another variety streamer, I think. Right, right, right. But I, I feel like this, like this orb type was from the delivery robot. That's what I'm saying. I understand that he's, they're another content creator, but I'm pretty sure that this orb type was 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 similar, right? It's similar to the mods orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. It's it, it, it's it's. I'm deciding what I want to do, right? Because like at this point. We need to decide what what path we want to go down. Power yeah. words done. Thank you for four months. Thank you, 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 thank you. Right? Because like right now we have this darkening effect. That if we take more exhaust things, we can we can synergize with. We also have ways to cast orbs and then deal damage with those orbs. Right? So I kind of want to take this because it exhausts, but also kind of goes down the orb path. Right now, you know, you know what I'm saying. Although this can activate my orbs if I upgrade, I think this is the best. Just for more orb stuff. All right. This could do that. This could do eight. This could do nine. That could do nothing right now. This could be a good upgrade, actually, because this goes to two orb slots. Wanderbot is an orb. Yes, but this both synergizes with the... So, Distortion wants Exhaust, right? And this exhausts and make orb. Exhaust and makes orb. Make orb? Exhaust and makes orb. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Crystal Moonlight Plus. Let's see if this works. Let's go this way. Hey. Um, secret technique me into Crystal Moonlight Plus. It's fucking orbing time. Boom. Okay, so we got we've got a a crescent moon. We know what that does. We also have a wander bot, which we've recently learned what this does. At the end of your turn, deal four damage to the frontmost enemy. And then Evoke deals four damage to the frontmost enemy and draws a card. Cool. Let's do this. So we're going to make another orb. Um, Let's not... This is just going to be four damage right now. It's nothing else. Let us... Cardistry into Distortion. And then... We're going to do boom because we want to activate him this turn. This next turn is going to be minus strength 
plus distortion plus block plus play this guy right here in theory should evoke all of these guys it did huge love that love that love that huge okay sick 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 sick, sick. We're doing stuff. We're working on things. I have to head out. Thank you for helping me learn Slay the Spire and be such a big inspiration as to why I've gotten into one of my favorite games. Yo, much love, dude. Many waffles frost. Much love, much love, much love. Okay. I love how distortion makes him look weird, right? I think I have to play this. I need some damage right now. None of these deal a whole lot of damage. Fuck me. Fuck. This is bad. This is not looking that good. It exhausts, though. This is true. Actually true. It does exhaust. That is true. I didn't even think about that. Good, good call. Good call. That is plus 18 damage. And then we could do this for 5 damage off of this, but that doesn't really feel like anything, right? Yeah, so this is just better. Maybe I, maybe I should have played Hornet. This doesn't matter right now anymore. Right. I keep not playing this, and it's silly. Wait, why am I targeting somebody? I'm infesting? Huh. What the fuck that means? <laughs> I got, yeah, I got baited about something, man. No idea what the hell that was. Let that card exhaust, deal a billion damage, and then rummage me. Okay. Okay, Vajra's good. Trine. When this card is drawn, the next card you play this turn plays twice. Ooh. Ooh. That seems hot, hot, hot. Odd. What does odd mean? If you've played an odd number of cards this turn, including this, deal six damage to a random enemy, even draw a card. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and it seems to be for the odd one because he's got the, 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 the hat. He's the hat. I'm going to take trying though. I keep avoiding the, the for the content cards, but I'm taking the other cards for the content. Do you believe me? I don't know if I want to take this elite path. I feel like I'm going to go this way. I feel like that's probably the best way. I'm going to upgrade my trying so that it's easier for me to be able to play. So that I can get it out of my shit. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Don't lose this run, Tristan. I almost want to heal because I don't want to lose this run. I really don't want to lose now. Oh my god. But I also want to take this because now I see upgraded cards. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We we have uh, the, 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 the minus five strength is going to be really good for this fight. Minus five strength is going to be insanely good for this fight. So I think here we go secret technique, cardistry, cardistry on you, rummage to you. It's going to make me take nine. That's fine. We can do this. Infest. I don't care. I full block. Okay. Minus five strength. Love that. Which means now, if I do... Thank we'll do this. Fun. We'll do that. And then that'll deal damage to you. We take we take two. That's fine. Now we have Trine available. Keep that in mind. So that we can go double trouble. Hit you a couple of times. It's okay that you exhaust. Because now those are going to get evoked. My brain is going a mile a minute! And then this will kill you, exhausted. Then this. What is this? A full moon. When activated, draw a card. Evoke this if it would have been uh, activated four times and draw a card. Oh, this is drawing cards. Love that. Okay. We got the odd mushroom and we got a square. <laughs> Why am I excited? When this is drawn, when this card is drawn, draw three cards. Oh, wait, that's so good. I think at, now, at this point, we kind of want to have a remember, right? With all of the, um, with with more power cards coming in, or more alignment cards coming in.
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Please heal me. I'm scared. I'm just scared, okay? Hello! <clears throat> you there. With the backpack of that size, you must be a collector. Come in and browse. We have a lovely temporary pop-up market set up totally, fully legitimate, of course. I'm sure you can find something you'll need. What the hell is this? Oh, I clicked on a low price. <laughs> I clicked on low price. Y'all just don't tell anybody that you were here. Or you'll be thrown off the pier. Sketchy salesman. Browse single cards. Learn to conjure packs. Or dubious dealer. Browse relics? I kind of want to browse some relics. Okay. You can skip each option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy the collection. Lose 100 gold. But upon pickup, you may add each card from a random pack master booster to your deck. You may add each card from a random pack master booster for your deck. What the hell? Sell your hat. Gain 75 gold. Lose your hat. <laughs> upon pickup, uh, choose one of your cards. Cards from it. Wait. Choose one of your packs. Cards from it will no longer appear in card rewards. Then choose one of five new packs to replace it with and gain up to three card rewards from that pack. It says you may add each card from a random pack master booster to your deck. So like, I don't have to add them, but it's gonna be, I'm gonna see upgraded skills, man. I'm gonna see upgraded skills. I'm gonna do this. All in, deal 30 damage, draw two, draw three cards, gain three energy, skip your next turn. What the hell? Wait, this is so cool. This is from the board games pack. Wait, am I gonna be able to add every single card from the board? It's literally the board games pack. Uh, go to jail? What the hell? What the hell? You cannot play attacks or take it, take damage this turn. Chance. Chance cards are played when drawn and exhausted when played. Exhausted when played! Wait, exhausted. This is an exhaust card. Roll a d20. Roll a dice on it. Wait, roll dice an additional number of times and take the highest value. Dice increases the damage or block of the next card you play and, and deals damage or blocks. But we roll with advantage. So this just would just add damage or block to our next thing. Why isn't d20 upgraded? That's true. What the hell? I mean, I don't want it with upgrade. It, it doesn't exhaust. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Level up, gain one advantage, roll 2d6. Why is it a power? <laughs> Why is it a power? At the start of your turn, roll a d8. Wait, this is OP. Wait, this is broken. Draw three cards, discard two cards, exhaust. I'm taking pocket ace immediately. Reroller, gain eight block, deal eight damage, reroll. Roll 2d6. Deal six damage to a random enemy X times, reroll. Okay, so that's the pack. That's the pack. What do we want to take here? Do we want to take all in? Do we want to go fucking balls deep right now? Do you want to go fucking balls deep right now? Go all in. D20. All right, we'll take a D20. Did that upgrade, by the way? It did upgrade, okay. I don't think I want to take jail, man. I don't think I... I don't think I want to take jail. I don't think I want to take jail. I kind of want to take perception check though. I think I want to take, I think I want to take, I think I want to take perception check. You don't take damage in jail. You cannot play attacks or take damage this turn. Oh, I'm going to go to jail. What the hell? Upgraded jail is good too. Wait, do not pass go. <laughs> Collect $20. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I just think it's too much to add here. I think this is too much to add. Again, I don't understand the significance of this stuff because I'm not using this pack. So maybe I should. Level up is pogged out. Yeah, this will be upgraded to cost zero. It will cost zero. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with what you say, chat, and I'm gonna take these. I'm not gonna take any more of these though. I'm, these three, I'm leaving. Do we agree on that? I'm gonna leave those three. I don't know. I guess take for the three years. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay. I didn't read the ending dialogue. I can read it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What an excellent choice. Enjoy your new Rolls Royce. 
<clears throat> that was so cringe. That was the cringiest thing I've done all day. Jesus. All right, let's see what our new deck does. Let's see what our new deck does. Because I have no fucking clue, man. All right, the next, the next card that you play is going to be twice. Should we manifest? Let's manifest. Seen all these? These are just damage, man. This is drawing cards. Uh, remember me? Perception me? He'll damage me. <laughs> I'm in jail. <laughs> Wait a second. Why did it... What was the debuff that it was putting on them? What did it do? Oh, it was from the Quinn. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Roll a d20 with advantage. That was the Quinn. True, 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 true. D20. I got a 22! Hold on. Cardistry? Block for 20? We don't need to do that. Okay, it doesn't apply to that. It's only it's only attack and defense. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Put these two back in my deck, please. This is so good. Dude, remember is OP. I was right. So I rolled, I rolled, I rolled a D8. At the, okay, rolled 2D6. I have 32 right now. Oh, because I rolled twice. Pocket ace. Choose cards to discard. 40! <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Thank you for subscribing. 32. Next month. Incredible job, Frost. Happy month late birthday. Ooh. My last sub message was absconded with by Hannah. Dude, dice is kind of fucking pogged up. Sass, they give the 31. I like the little dice sound effects too. It really, really gets me, really gets me into it, man. Oh no, I'm taking damage. I'm all in! Oh, I can do it twice. Oh my god, would that skip two turns? <laughs> Alexa's cloak. This is this is another this is another dope ass uh, content creator. Horde three. When played, reduce horde by X. When horde reaches zero, it it its effects trigger. Okay. Gain twenty four block and persist of two. Only plays only discards after a certain number of uses each turn. Wait, so how do you get horde? You use energy on it. You play the card. It sounds like you can prep it. Uh, oh, you have to spend at least three energy. And then it reduces the horde's cost. So I have to, if I play this for three, I'll get 24 block. And then I can play it for two cost the next time? No. If you spend two, it's horde minus two. What? When you play a total of three energy, you can split it up. Once you spend the last one, you get the benefit. I'm so confused. <laughs> Every three mana you spend on it, activate it. It's an energy installment plan. Afterwards. Horde is the total energy that it takes to activate, but since it retains so, you can split cost over turns. Thank you. Thank you. You guys all suck at explaining it, except for that guy. <laughs> you guys all suck so much at explaining it. That guy explained it really well. Yeah. So essentially, if if it since it stays in my hand, right? Since I have to play it twice, I can play it. If I have two energy left over, I can just be like, all right, I'll just throw two at it now. And then next turn, I only have to play it for one energy for it to for it to give me 24 block. So I can like set up a block card. Interesting. Yeah, but trying to though. Here's the issue is are we taking too many cards that aren't doing anything? Are we taking too many setup cards? Because like even even the cloak is like a little bit iffy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little bit iffy. Can't go wrong with more echo forms. These are echo forms that you have to draw. Which if you don't draw other things, you're just drawing those. I also don't think you need this because we're making pog block out of dice. All right, we're gonna take one more try and we just need to take better cards. So we're gonna take fights. We need to take better cards, chat. Chat, we need to take better cards, okay? Listen to me now. We need to take better cards. Trust me.
Make better decisions. Okay. Sorry, I need to explain what I'm doing better, and I'm not doing that. That's on me. Thank you for the 20 gold, by the way. The fact that... The fact that, 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 that that card gives you 20 gold now is hilarious. Dice persists over turn. Yes, the, the buff sits right here and it does persist. Yeah. Harvest beans. Deal five damage. Deal five damage to all enemies if the last card played this combat was an attack. You guys want some beans? That's actually kind of good with the, uh, the modifiers. With the dice. Whenever you draw an ethereal card, gain block. Yeah, beans with dice is like actually kind of sick, I think. It's going to be good going into this fight. Wasn't an attack? Did I read that wrong? Out loud. Sorry, I read it in my head correctly. I read it in my head correctly. I mean, yeah. I love that upgrade. One sec, one sec, one sec. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Jail! Hello, Frost and Chef. You're looking lovely today, and I hope your day goes well. You as well, my friends. Yeah, we should have simply just rolled higher, I think. <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad. Crystal Moonlight! Crystal Moonlight! Crystal fucking Moonlight! I'm all in, baby. Bok Choy Boy, thank you for the 28 months. Boom! All right, I'm tearing up. Shut the fuck up. Don't look at me. Don't perceive me. Don't look at me. Don't perceive me. Today is week three of the Dan Giesling Frost Prime Triple Roguelike Race. It's happening live at twitch.tv slash Frostprime underscore. So after this video, you should feel free to come on over and cheer me on because, uh, yeah, we just keep having it where somebody has to go or schedules change and then we just don't do it. So it's like a meme at this point that we're just going to keep doing it every single week. So maybe I'll be doing it next week and you'll hear from me again. If not, it's all good. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. At the start of your turn, channel one Frost and apply six Frostbite to your enemies. <clears throat> A creature with Frostbite loses HP and its Frostbite is halved. Whenever a creature with Frostbite receives attack, apply one Frostbite. You have to take it? Do I, though? It doesn't seem like the best option here. <laughs> we could get fertilizer, man. Wait, we could get fertilizer, man. What's better? Me or literal shit? <laughs> what is better? The Frost Prime card or literal fucking poop? <laughs> I'll take Frost Prime. You have to for the content. I have to? What the hell? I mean, the Runic Pyramid's gonna go fucking hard with Remember. It's gonna go so hard with Remember. You can't say. No. Runic. Chat, stop. I know that Bing Bong's a meme, but let's think about the content here for a second. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that. YouTube clickbait. I played with myself in this Slay the Spire mod. Don't just say Bing, all right? Don't just say Bing. You gotta say both of it. Don't ex don't don't expect somebody else like you're laying up a a big meme. I'm taking the Runic Pyramid. Day, 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 day. Frank, thank you for the two months. We literally have a card that allows us to get rid of our hand. This is OP. It's not a scam. Me deciding what I want to do with my life is not a scam, chat. You know that? Did you know that? I have double frost pride. It's a bomb! Sorry, I know that I'm not on screen right now. I just, I'm like actually not doing, I am doing, I'm doing great. You know, just like not well, you know? Uh, let's put this back on in our deck. Okay. 
Yeah, we get so much frost now, man. And like, they're just going to start evoking really fast, you know? That's crazy to think about. This card three. This guy's frost bitten. Wait, hold on. Chat when I say say bing, you say bong. Bing. Silence. Bing. We appreciate you, Mr. Streamer. Hey, sh eat shit. You know that? You ever heard about that? You ever heard, like, eat shit? So is frostbite basically just poison, but <clears throat> eats max HP instead of chip damage. Also, I now get shiny. Yes, but it seems like when an enemy has... Watch, watch this, watch this. It seems like when an enemy has frostbite, I can deal more... Mr. Streamer. I deal more damage to them, and it adds frostbite while they still have frostbite. Does that make sense? So while they still have frostbite, it's like they have a personal envenom on their butt. Put the card out instead of your camera. <laughs> See? Tricky! I love tricky. Deal light damage to all enemies. Deal three addition. Deals three additional damage for each card drawn this turn. Yeah, this is this could be this could be insane. Be is this a multi hit? Wait, is this a multi hit or is this this is a multi hit, right? Because if this is a multi hit, this is broken. No, not multi. If it didn't have the word additional, it it means not it means multi, right? Because then it says deals damage for each card. Like if it didn't have the word additional, yeah, it does not. Okay, it's still kind of good though. Whenever this card is gained, I don't want this because I don't want to ruin my dice sometimes. Right? Like, I don't want to ruin my dice because I feel like this would consume my dice against my will. Is dice not when you play a card? Let's, let's read. Let's read. Increase the damage or block of the next card you play that deals damage. This says when this card is drawn. I guess, yeah, you're not playing it. Okay, I still don't think we need it. Can I say that? I still don't think I need it. <laughs> I still don't think it's necessary. Uh, I take a little strength gain, but I think I will just transform. Transform me, please. One strike, one D. We got a show off, which we had last time. That was really good. And a chittering punt deals eight damage. When this infests, manifest a crescent moon. Okay. I do like orbs. <clears throat> I just double play jail. <laughs> I just double play jail. <laughs> oh. That was a lot of money, though. Hell yeah, dude. What does jail even do? Uh, it makes it so I can't play attacks, but the enemies can't deal damage to me. <clears throat> this is really good. I think. <laughs> beans! Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be this excited for beans. Another Quinn? I don't think we need another Quinn, man. I really don't. I don't think we need any of these right now. I do like beans, but I don't think we need more beans at the moment. I think we can get away with less beans at the moment. Marbles? Love that. Honestly, we just need to we need to find draw. Like that's that's like what I'm really looking forward to right now. Accidentally played that twice. Oops. We can get rid of one of our trines here. That's fine. What's my opinion on Inkbound? I think it has a very large amount of potential, but we'll have to see. Very large amount of potential, though. <clears throat> Hit me with the Frost Prime, please. Hit me with the beans. Secret technique on a D6. Uh, it doesn't matter. I know. <clears throat> Boom! More frostbite. 
crystal me. D20. One billion damage. Rummage me, please. Jail. <laughs> what does Wanderbot do? Deals damage to the, the, the guy in front. Deals damage to the to the first dude. It's an orb that yeah, orb that deals damage to the first dude. Destiny draw. Choose one of three random cards from different packs and add it to your hand. It costs zero this turn. That could get confusing. Put four random cards from different packs from from your draw pile into your hand. Ah, let's let's fuck around with it though. Let's get more cards. More cards, more stuff, more things. Chat, I believe that it's time to go to jail. And then we can cardistry D20, which is gonna put it on top. And then we can secret technique our show off. We can draw one billion. I should have done that in a different order. You're so stupid, Tristan. What are you doing? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Are you maybe stupid as fuck, dude? Yes. <laughs> um. D20 me. Only a 23 off of rolling two D20s with advantage. Wow. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, no. That's not good. This deals 40 damage. So we can deal 40 damage plus that. Gain three block. What happened to his camera? I wish not to be perceived right now. Is that fine? Is that okay with you? I love gaining eight energy. Isn't that so good? Destiny draw. Speak! I couldn't even tell you what the other cards were, I'll be honest. Moonlightning. That's an exhaust card. Slam him. When this card is drawn, a random character, an enemy character loses 14 HP. Yeah, but what about a fertilizer? <laughs> it is a free exhaust, but I feel like we're not doing the darken effect anymore. I feel like we're kind of leaning into other things, but it's not bad. We need draw. Okay, drawing a card in order to have to spend one energy to draw a card is fucking terrible. That is not draw, chat. Shut the fuck up. That's not draw. That is not draw. Uh, but it says draw. Uh, that's it. I'm angry enough to come back and say, that's not draw. <laughs> I still think we need none of these. 75 gold to remove a card, please. Handsome streamer. Are you a fan of poop gang or cum gang? Not gonna answer that. I don't feel like I'm required to in any capacity, you know? <clears throat> oh, you're attacking me? What the hell? Since when? <laughs> what the hell? Kill this guy real quick. Not bad. Boom. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> How many fucking times am I going to roll double jail, man? What the hell? How many goddamn times am I going to get double jailed? What the hell is this, man? Get in there, you criminal scum. I'll meet criminal one more time. See what happens. Gain a fertilizer. Fetch two random cards from different types from your draw pile. That's cool. Let's take a smithing hammer, though. Oh. 
Douche, douche, douche. He's not a criminal, though. He's a millionaire. The same thing. Based, 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 based. <laughs> Retromation! At the start of your turn, gain a card from a pack not available in your draft. It's ethereal. That's cool. I, I, I have too many cards in my hand, though. To oblivion? When evoked, applies ruin to the enemy with the most HP. Increases increases ruin applied whenever you discard a card. Ruin is the next time a creature with ruin takes unblocked damage. They lose HP equal to their ruin. It's just literally called the emptiness, dog. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay, man? Yeah, I think that's just a less than version of, of Frostbite. We have a lot of money. Maybe we should hit two shops on the way out. I'll take a Mercury Hourglass. I'm in jail again, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I just can't. I can't not go to jail, man. What the fuck? Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Fuck! <laughs> God, I was in jail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Beans! Sorry. Uh, double D20 me with an advantage. 35? That isn't... Jesus fucking... I should have done this first. But it wouldn't have been that good. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What, scam. what a really good run? Oh no, don't do that to me. Whatever you do, man, don't give me a really good run. This is insanely pogged up. Chad, I drew one card. Was it good? <clears throat> what do we want a secret technique here? Cross Prime? It's, that's a power, you idiot. Your face is pogged up. Yeah, what about all in, baby? Fear. Two darkness orbs? Wait, this is good. Wait, this is so good. I love fear. What the hell? Absolutely give me a fear. Holy. Wait, what if we saved all of our money and went for another elite? What are your thoughts? I mean, finesse is really good. Uh, backpack smack's always good, too. Double the frost prime. Out to market. Deal two damage to enemies the first time you play each card type each turn. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we could mirror... Mirror a lot of things, honestly. We could mirror our D20. We can also just not do anything. Hear me out here? Ah. Hear me out here, chat. Let's go to the next shop. Second jail. <laughs> uh, upgrade me? Yeah. Get a Frost Prime Plus in the deck. Let's get a goddamn Frost Prime Plus in the goddamn deck. Get a goddamn Frost... Goddamn... In the goddamn deck. You know what I'm saying? Part of my fucking French. <laughs> you are our Frost Prime Plus and we love you, Frost. Shut the fuck up. I mean, thanks. <laughs> Flick it! Deal seven damage a number of times equal to its cost. I do like a smithing hammer, though. A smithing hammer with our dice seems great, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 
Gain two strength and one dex. If you have played less than three types of cards this turn, exhaust. Pest control! I gotta use this on Twitch chat. Can I get some sprays in chat? Deal six damage. Repeat for each card type that you've played this turn. Gain a fertilizer at the start of each turn. Supply chain. Could also take a violence, though. Violence is pretty good. You could take all of them. That's also true. We could also take all of them. Uh, could also take pants. Pants is not bad. But it's not going to be that good with the uh, Runic Pyramid. All right, fuck it. Let's take some fertilizer cards. We have 30 cards in our deck, and they're all good. They're all pogged. Someone even say. I hate that the emote Frost Sip is pronounced Frost slash P slash Sip. Uh-huh. Double fertilizer every turn, baby. Let's fucking go, man. So that was... What was that? What did we play? We played a power. Now if we play this, that's a skill. Now if we play that, that's a thing. So now we can... D20 me. D6. Hit him with one of these. It's a little bit of AoE, more block than AoE, but that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, Crescent Moon me. My soil resiliency, no! What the hell, man? I upgraded some cards in our hands. Love that. All right. That trine had to go. It's fine. We still have one trine in the deck. Destiny draws. Deconstruct. That's going to get rid of some of their shit. I love that. And they're going to take four damage every single time that I draw a card. Yeah, now all of a sudden our darkness becomes quite good, yeah? Do love that. I am a big fan of that. Hold on, harvest beans. Chat. Bean me. Yes. We watched Puss in Boots 2 last night, so every time I see this, I just see the line in Puss in Boots 2 about fear. No spoiler, but if you have seen Puss in Boots 2, then you know what I'm talking about. This is like a permanent choke, man, because look. Dude, what the hell? It's so broken. What the hell, man? Ripped packs. In one strength for each pack that you've played a card from this combat. Shatter. Deal four damage for each time the enemy has lost HP this turn. Uh, I mean, I mean, that's disgusting with darkness. And then which twist? Inscribed. Modify three random cards in your hand. When you play this card, activate the passive effect of all your orbs. So it'll inscribe... Wait, what? It'll make three cards in my hand also give me two focus when I play them? Wait, is that what it's saying? And they activate your orbs. Oh, you... Wait, no. It should be everything after the colon. Isn't the two focus its own thing afterwards? I mean, it's they're both after the colon, man. I'm going to take it so we can find out officially. We're going to take it. We're going to take it so we can find out officially. Because it's after the colon. It's after the colon. You don't know what happens I after the colon. Gives focus None of us are fucking human biologists. Just activate your orbs. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't... I have not played a single potion this entire fight. I don't... This entire game. I do not care. My, I'm so OP... I do not care. Yeah, chat, where does your poop go? Do you know? 
I've been around Do you know what happens so after it comes out of your colon? Over in confusion whenever I see Slay the Spire game play. Numbers okay. Make my brain go out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So yes, it does. You you guys were correct. But hey, we confirmed it. We confirmed it, and that's all that matters. It's still a broken fucking card, I think. I think it's still a broken fucking card. I I still I still I still I, 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 holy shit, Tristan. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I still think it's a disgustingly OP card. I was like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Channel two darkness? Well, hello all. Is Frost Prime No 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 Inscribe Dude Where's my other inscribe card? Did I use them all? I did. <laughs> did you see that? I skipped my next turn. I took damage. <laughs> Yo, Brett, thank you so much for the 31 months. Four man, thank you for the 34 months. It gives two focus, but not eight. It doesn't, I don't like it. Yeah, it's still fucking broken, man. Channel one frost for each empty orb slot. Icicle crash. It's pretty cool. I don't need it though. Do I? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, 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 only because I have a 31 card deck. I'm not going to take it. Duplicate a card. All right, find the best card. And why is it jail? <laughs> Why is... I mean, at this point, is Trine getting better? Right? We said that two Trine was too much early on, but now we have a 31-card deck. Is Trine better now? Frost Prime Plus? Frost Prime Plus is pretty good. Perception Check has been treating us quite well. Perception Check's good. Don't get me wrong. I also think Remember's pretty good. I could take another All In. I'm going to go with another Jail. It's literally a free turn. Right? Duplicate Jail. I'm going... That's it, chat. I'm going back to jail. I'm doing this so that we could guarantee the block this turn. Okay. <laughs> Wait. If I... It, what happens if I get rid of this card? Wait, hold on. I want to try. What happens if I discard it? Nothing. Interesting. Because <laughs> it says... So, the reason why is it says they're played when drawn and then exhaust when played. Right? And if you, for instance, have a void, right? The, the, the status card, when drawn, lose one energy... That still goes off if you discard it. That's why I wanted to figure it out. I think that it was necessary to do so. Thank you for subscribing. Suicide Jim, thank you for four months. I do like dealing 90 damage, but I'm going to block instead. And then I'll hit him with the, the 27 damage. And then I'll upgrade those. And then I'll put this back in my deck. Okay, cool. Witch twist! Oh, wait, this is playing twice. Nice. Am I just straight up taking damage? What the hell, man? Never mind. Uh, seen all these. Don't need any of them. Uh, could go to another shop. We have 260. It's not a terrible amount. Sure. Which twist me, please? Wonder if this is gonna light up. Wonder if this is gonna light up whenever it's uh, available to not exhaust. You know what I'm saying? This is not the multi attack. You don't want to skip next turn.
Hit me with one of these. Draw me a billion cards. Supply chain me. Um, when this card is drawn, all enemies lose five strength. Hold on. Test this with the discard. Test this with the discard, please. Test me with the discard, please. Boom! Love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. Okay. Hit me with one of these. I guess I should have played this. I was try I'm trying to save it to see if it lights up. I would like to save it to see if it lights up. So let's let's try our hardest here to play. So we can play board game skill right now. So we have to play three. Play less than three. So we have to play three different cards. This is a board games card. This is a core set card. Bailard Bash! Deal 13 damage to shovel Bailard's blueprint into your discard pile. In your draw pile. And then Baylor's blueprint is two cost and shuffle a uh shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile and put the cozy chair at the top of at the bottom of it. I wanna know what the hell this thing does. Alright, so we played a card from for the content. Is that three types? I feel like that was three types, wasn't it? It does, it's lighting up. It's lighting up. I wanna see what cozy chair does. Cross priming. We have block in our hand. We do. Cross prime me. D six me. Heal tornado me. Next turn we're gonna play this because the they they do the multi attack and then they don't do the multi attack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put you and you into the deck. Hit our double jail. Baylord's blueprints. Your wait. Your cards are played twice. Excuse me, Baylor? <laughs> Excuse me, Baylor Lord? Hey, Baylor Lord. I'm so sorry. What the fuck did you just say, my friend? <laughs> I'm sorry, Baylor. What the hell? Don't, don't get me wrong. It takes a while to get there, but doesn't mean that it ain't OP as fuck. We can do nothing this turn. <laughs> I can harvest my beans. I have no idea what it would do with the with the with the trine. It would be an interesting one. Draw four cards and exhaust two of them. I love this. Wait, no, I don't. Wait, no, it's two of the cards that I draw? Oh, wait, that's... That's not... That'd be bad. Maybe we don't want to do that? Augment, gain five block. If you have no empty orb slots, gain one orb slot. That's cool. It's like an icicle crash now. I just got here. What the fuck is happening? Please help. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> um, could take a Panacea Plus. Could take a War Paint. I think I'll just take a Frozen Eye, man, and then we'll remove another card. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's go here. Hello, Giant Head. I am ready to attack you with my moves. Check this one out. It's really cool. <laughs> Fuck, man! Stop making me go to jail! You motherfucker! Stop, dude. I don't want to go to jail anymore, man. Come on, dude. Uh, Witch Twist on Trine. Oh my god. So now that I have Frost Orbs. Now that I have Frost Orbs. Look, Inscribed. It act I'm broken. I'm I've won. I've won the game. I have, in fact, won the game. It's over. I want to double play this if possible. 
Because I want to show you how OP this can be if I double play it. It might not happen, though. But still, look. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Um, wait, wh I wonder what happens if I... I, I, I bet I can't ever play that card. I'll do this. Play one of these. Level me up. I watch your videos twice. Once at home and once on my personal account. And again when I'm at work on my work account. It helps me get through the days. Thanks for the fun. Spire, Peglin, Poglin, etc. Content through my COVID crud. Yo, facts. Much love, dude. What the hell, dude? Shut the fuck up. Thank you so much. Go to jail again? I got no problem being here, man. I got no problem with being in jail right now. Okay. Check this shit out. You guys like dealing 54 times a billion? I fit. I'm going all in. Destiny me. Apply one eek for each card type you play this turn. You're going to root. I can't see what this does. I can't see what it does. <laughs> no. No. All right, let's take it. What does it do? In one energy, two energy, and three cards, exhaust the next three cards you play. That's cool. Thank you for subscribing. Rummage me. Go to jail. Don't forget your wants. <laughs> Warm up, bitch. Thanks for getting this up. I don't think I want this. Not with this, chat. Not with this. I know. I know you. I know you're like maximum pugs. It's not. We will lose. Sideboard me. <clears throat> sideboard could be good. Sideboard could be good. Sideboard could work. I think we could. I think we could fuck around with the sideboard. But it's also just adding way too much complication to the deck that I, is hurting my brain at this point. My brain is getting to like its maximum capacity right now. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, Frost. You got inscribed nerf. Hey, what? What did I do? Hey, what? <laughs> hey, what did I do? I mean, yeah. I I got um carving knife nerfed as well. Carving knife uh didn't have the healing debuff added to it, which is a debuff added to cards. Um it, it is a debuff that is added to cards uh like self-repair and feed so that you can't find them from things like Nilri's Codex or Transforming. I disabled the for the content pack so I could see Frost's reactions first. So I had apparently scrolled down just a bit so I could see your relics but not your potions. I thought you cropped them out on purpose so chat wouldn't backseat your potions and I thought it was genius. <laughs> Isn't D20 completely overpowered? Yeah. Man. Your point? Jail again. Cross Prime Notable Prisoner. Circle. You and all enemies lose strength this turn equal to the number of cards in your hand. Uh, that seems good. <laughs> I have a lot of cards in my hand a lot of times. Yeah. A worse version of jail? Hey, you shut the fuck up, man. 
Also, darkness orbs, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you guys are wondering. Uh, darkness orbs. <clears throat> Please don't jail me this turn. Thank you. I mean, maybe I should have gotten jailed this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Where's the jail, man? Wait, hold on. I want to go to jail. Please. Take me away. Destiny. Thunderstruck. Whenever you play a card containing the word strike, can tell one lightning. All right, I'll take it for the memes. Love that. Love that. All in, baby. That's it. I'm shoving all in. Boom. Easy peasy. Yo, what up, Bacon? First time chatter. I think it's going well. Static. Deal one da damage. Uh, deal one damage to a random enemy four times. Apply distortion equal to the unblocked damage dealt. Creatures with distortion lose HP whenever a card is exhausted. Wait, this is gross. Wait, this is so gross. Yeah, with dice? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous for this. I'm actually nervous for this. I'm actually nervous for this. I'm quite nervous for this. Why? Because they deal a lot of damage. I'm putting both of my knees up in nervousity. This might be a good potential potion time. <laughs> if you're in jail, they don't. So true. Twenty-two times three. What's the base damage of this card? Ah, five. It's five. I do say the base damage is four. It's five. So if I play this, it's 22 times 3, that's 66. Yeah, we need to play this. That's fine. It's a good potion turn. Love that. It's not bad. Not a bad potion turn. Not a bad potion turn. I'd love to hit you with some static right now, my friend. The issue with static is like, you're just gonna die most of the time. <laughs> uh, what is this card? I wonder if this counts as a strike. <laughs> I bet it does. I bet the creators of the game are fun, but it's just funny to think about like, is this a strike? I bet it does though. All right, let's go. Hey, good, good, good card, guys. Really, really good stuff we're doing here. I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Dice like vigor? Yes, but dice counts for both block and attack. Whichever you choose. Whichever whichever happens first. They finally got you. <laughs> Sneaky Teak Strike! Get a dark side slap at the top of your draw, which deals 22 damage and is mega ethereal. Exhaust at the end of your turn, no matter where it is. <laughs> Got to get rid of it, otherwise Sneaky Teak's going to do some sneaky stuff with it. <clears throat> Novile's not a terrible card, actually. 
Mobile's not terrible. I don't think we need it, though. New Relic. Banishing Decree. Upon pickup, choose one of your packs. Cards from it will no longer appear in your card rewards. Then choose one of... Oh, this was uh, what we were going to get from that event. Then choose one of five... Uh, one one of five new packs to replace it with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Material boost. Discard any number of cards. Evoke your next orb once for each card discarded. That's broke. Baylor Lord's Bash. Dude, it's so good, but it's so fucking hard to get off with a 33-card deck. I think I'm going to take a bottled tornado. We could bottle... We could bottle me. Honestly, wouldn't be a bad idea to bottle a Frost Prime, yeah? Put Frost Prime in the jar. Well, now I don't want to bottle Frost Prime. Hi, Frost. Here is this month's content tax. No. Thanks to you, I reinstalled STS and this mod. I'm happy for it. Oh, man, dude. You're already in a jar. Why? Don't tell me these things, man. Can I not know these things, chat? Get in the cum jar. I'm not gonna get in the cum jar. Look at this. Look at this. Any time that I exhaust a card, this is going to deal 84 damage to this guy. Is that is that okay? Is that is that, is that okay that I did that? Did I do something that's illegal? He's so distorted! Don't forget to enable your notifications. It will be like putting Frost Prime in a jar. <laughs> Stop. <clears throat> I think this guy's fucking dying, man. It's gonna be nerfed tomorrow. Wait, hold on. Mods ban all of the devs in the stream. We could take another soil resiliency. I don't think we need it though. Ten people left the stream when you talked about putting yourself in a jar. I didn't talk about this, man! I didn't talk about this! I wasn't putting anything in a jar! <laughs> Stupid man. This is so dumb. Come jar. First time chatter from JSEG. First time chatter. Come jar. Chat, look what you've done. Do you notice what you've done? Do you understand what you've done? You get it, man? Do you understand? Jar check. That's not a that's not a thing. Jar check is not a real thing. It's not a thing. Did I just walk in on? We Don't ever say that. No, we're not putting me in a cum jar. We're not doing that. You're not putting me in a cum jar. Dude, fuck it. I'm doing this. Cum jar. First time chatter. I.O. This is the first time I've seen this mod and I'm extremely confused. Okay, so this mod, so, Papa Toast, Luau, thank you for the 17 months. This mod is confusing. Don't, don't feel bad that this mod is confusing. This mod, so every year, the modding community comes together and they make a collaborative mod. They do a mod jam over about a month and they make a collaborative mod. This year, they made their biggest mod yet. They made the Packmaster mod. There are 60, is it 69 different packs or some shit like that? 700 cards added to this, this character. And at the beginning of a run, you choose seven packs. Essentially, they're 10 cards. 71 now, Jesus. 71 packs, right? And a pack is 10 cards. It's, it's 10 different cards. So this is a pack, right? This right here is a pack. This right here is a pack. This right here is a pack. You choose seven packs through various different means that will be the cards that you will see throughout that run. 
And you won't even really know what those cards are until you select them. You'll just get like a brief description. Like th this was like ethereal cards, but gain you power, right? So it is a very confusing mod that is extremely fun. All of these cards are just about content creators. So don't get me, don't get me wrong. This mod is a very confusing mod, but it is hands down the best mod that has ever been added to the, the Slay the Spire community ever, ever, literally ever because of the amount of endless content. Somebody did the math in my YouTube video and there's like 2000 plus combinations of packs that you can have. There's more, way, way, way more. No, because you're thinking of the order and the order doesn't matter here, right? Because like, if I, if, I, if I have the Frost Prime pack in the first position, or the third position, but I have the same the same packs. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Collect twenty cup. It's five thousand and forty now with the two added packs. It's five thousand and forty. Jesus, sixty nine choose five is over eleven million. You, again, the eleven million takes into the account of the the eleven million takes into account the order of the packs. That that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The amount of the amount of the order doesn't matter at all. I don't know, man. You can the the possi we, That's why I said the possibilities are endless. And then somebody in the in the in the comments was like, "Actually, Tristan, they're not endless." But like, this is why it's endless because it's an endless conversation of what math is correct to do here. <laughs> it is seventy-one factorial divided by sixty-four. No. Again, chat, times chat, times chat. Times you guys, times you guys, times you guys are hurting your own brain. You guys are hurting your brain. You can send me whatever link you want to send. You can send me whatever link you want to send. You can tell me whatever equation that you want to send. I don't know that that's the right equation. That's the problem. It's not that I don't trust that you can't do math. If I, if I gave you a fucking formula sheet and I was like, all right, chat, what is uh, A squared plus B squared minus C squared? What is that? I trust that you can do the equation. I don't know what the equation is. And I don't know if you know what the equation is. Because let's be real here. We're a bunch of fucking idiots. We're dumbasses. Every time that somebody says this is the right one, five people speak up and say, no, it's not. And then they don't say what they think it is. And then somebody else says, this is the right one. And everybody goes, no, it's not. You don't know what to trust in this situation. It's one of those situations where you can't under... It, 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 unless somebody literally takes a picture of them in front of a whiteboard that says, hi, I am Professor Dr. Blank Blank from the University of Blank Blank. And this is literally my job for a living. Trust me. I'm not going to trust any of you. Actually, I have a math major. Yeah, but you can't prove that. So you're not just going to be able to prove that right now. So I'm going to... I played those twice. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys are making me so nervous right now. <clears throat> hey, Andrew. When you replace this whole conversation with a picture of a slow party Kirby, just know that we do this because we love you. Double jail. Wait, can cards be double inscribed or is it inscribe different cards? Hey, Radiant Soul. I don't know what I'm doing right now, buddy. Poppy Toast, thank you for this. Thank you for the prime. I have Pathfinder and I have to edit this tonight. Chat, maybe I need to end the stream after this so Andrew can rip the VOD. <laughs> What a weird animation. That annoyed me. <laughs> Hello, all of Radiance audience. My chat is arguing right now of how to do uh, factorials. What is your audience arguing about right now? Is it something more useful with their time? The app got fixed. I can, I can rip it without you ending now. Yo, is that new tech? I love the distorted effect, man. It's so fun. You can just restart the stream now. Yeah, but I don't like restarting stream. 
guy takes 103 damage anytime that I exhaust a card. Alright, I exhausted a card. <laughs> I just know that you... Okay. What in the chat have you saw, like, the hundreds of comments that just came through about the math? Right? What in the chat have you saw that? There is going to be twice as many in the comments of this YouTube video. Don't scroll down there. Don't do it. The internet is full of nerds. That was 999, perfectly. It's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be so bad. But god damn, is that video going to pop off in the algorithm? How you doing today, Radiant? Are you doing good? Because I'm losing my fucking mind, man. Um, hey, it's me, your boy, your blank blank from University blank blank. And I major in blank blank. And it's the factorial 22. We just blew up the moon. The yeah, I, saw, uh, 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 I saw you've been on that uh, Risk of Rain train, man. It's been good for you. Don't dare me. I mean, American streamer I'm shocked at knows the word factorial. YouTube comments are known for being very civilized and readable. American streamer knows factorial. Come <laughs> oh, man. Come oh, man. Am I as stupid as I look, chat? Yes or no? Answer that honestly. <clears throat> Okay, but when you say no, I don't even... I realize now that I don't know which way you're going on it. We have Peglin Poglin <laughs> now. We will have Frost Prime math time. Like, I, I don't know which way you're going. I don't know whether or not you're saying that I'm really smart or if I'm really dumb. <clears throat> don't you, though? No, I don't. What is factorial? Is that <laughs> mod for factorio? Yeah. You and all enemies lose strength equal to your ship. Love that. That's fine. Thank you for subscribing. I Twist me. Did it less than three. I have the time to catch a stream. Try me. For subscribing. I just got a call saying I got the job I applied for. Let's go! Zippo. That's awesome. Thank you for the 51 months. Hot, ba hot damn. Zora, thank you for the four months. That's actually really sick, dude. I am, like, so happy for you. Yeah. I am, like... So fucking happy for you. You don't even know. With advantage, I only rolled an 11. What the hell is this, man? Am I getting scammed? What the hell, man? But am I dead? No, I, I have to be able to kill this guy somehow, right? you from that same country that put a man on the moon? I might be. Wait, do I have more things to say in Scribe? Oh, this says in Scribe. This is phenomenal. Scribe me. And then Energy Potion me. Love that. Okay, good to go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad damage. Not bad. A little bit of damage, but not bad. Got him in <laughs> <laughs> we have jail. <clears throat> I have a card that makes me go to jail. GTG, good night and thank you for a great stream to return to after the long break. How much love? Disori. Wait. Deterioration. Deterioration. At the end of return, exhaust a random card in your discard pile and gain seven blocks. <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. Frost Primey into... Huh? Huh? Maybe I should play this. Definitely want to play my advantage here. Could play Fear as well. Uh, what would I want a secret technique is the question. That's just saying Arugula. Show off? That's not a bad idea, but... Hmm. I think it's soil resiliency. Secret technique. Soil resiliency. Wait, 
What the heck is this hero? Are they new? Yeah. They're really good. I'm in it. Look, it's me. Chat can type this. This card, they can type it into chat. Isn't that so cool? How cool is that? You have Frozen Eye? Yeah, I do, and I don't think I've used it a single time because I've just been bantering with chat. I've just been talking, man. We've just been chit-chatting, you know? Me and chat chit-chatting? Mm. Name a better duo. Name a better duo. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I don't need this. Remember me? Wait, do you have a crush on us? No. Yes. Whenever I exhaust a card, the heart is going to take 60 damage. That's fine. I think that's good. Draw me. <laughs> Balanced? A little bit. Little bit. Same with one of these. More damage. And then I'll let that guy exhaust so that we deal 60. Okay. Dart looks fine. Yeah, he just like feels a little sick. It's fine. Double D20 roll? 34, not bad. Not a bad roll. 60 damage. Double D20 roll. Put both of these guys back in the deck. Give the hard strength. No, I don't think I'm going to do that, man. I'm in jail. I don't think I'm going to give the hard strength. Fertilize me. Well, it looks like the guy just accidentally died. And they're going to die to my frostbite. The most powerful move in the game. Die. But no, it died to my... Died to my orb. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wanderbot steals the kill. Dude, there's just so much content to be played. That's a two hour run. That's the one issue with the Packmaster is they're just long runs. They're just long, man.